Hi YouTube viewers, um, this is Brian Harvey. Um, I'm making this video as um, as an extension to a video that I've already made. You may have seen it on um, David Icke's website and, and on YouTube. Uh, Brian Harvey, the day the police came to fit a meter. Um, I just want to update everyone on, on kind of what happened because you've only kind of got half the story. Um, today, July the 3rd, 2012 I've had Southern Electric come back to my house again um, and this time to full century to fit a gas meter uh, a prepaid gas meter now the situation with this is from the very beginning this goes back to um, August my birthday on um, uh, two, um, 2009 so it was August the 8th 2009 um, I've been cold called by Southern Electric four or five times prior to that date. Now as some of you know, some of you may not know, I used to be in a pop band called E17. Um, the band has kind of moved on without me, which is fine, that, that, that's not a problem. But at the time I was finding things quite hard. Um, and obviously with not having a band to be in or any way of earning money, um, life became really really hard so and as some of you may or may not be aware I've had depression on and off for about 15 years now well, I would say it all started in 1997 with the ecstasy comment which I'll do another video and explain that later because that also needs explaining but to cut a long story short since that time my life has been hell on earth it really has and it does hurt me when I look on, on the internet and I read certain comments from people that haven't really taken the time to understand what's going on. You've looked at my face, think you know what I'm about and it frustrates me because people really don't know and they, they really don't know me or what I'm like at all in any way, shape or form. Like, no one knows. Um, so basically, look, what I'm trying to say, Southern Electric harassed me, knocked on my door for around the fifth, fourth, fifth, sixth time, can't be sure, it was, it was many times. Um, they've knocked on my door. Now, me being in a weak state of mind, which I fully admit to, everyone breaks down and has problems, mine have been ongoing for quite a long time. Um, they've taken advantage of that. The guy's come in, told me that I'm going to get cheaper bills I was half cut, it was my birthday, you know, if you can't do that on your birthday, then when can you do it? Um, and my mental state, I've been vulnerable for quite some time, and that's not easy for a person like myself to have to come out with and explain themselves to a load of YouTube viewers, but I feel like I should. I feel like I should. Because I'd rather people know what I'm thinking than not know because I am getting fed up with being judged on people thinking they know me I don't sniff gear I'm not a drug taker you know you've, you've just got this image that you've believed from the newspapers and I'm not like that I'm really not I'm trying to do a good thing here I'm trying to defend myself and my home and uh, at a time when yeah fair play everything's falling apart some of it may be my fault, some of it may not be. Do you know what I mean? That's, that's not what's going on here today. The, what is going on here today is I am sick to death of utility companies harassing people. And Southern Electric have been done for this many times before. I mean, they've even been on Watchdog harassing old ladies, coming in their house, telling them, OK, we've checked all your light switches and that, that part of the service was free. It's all lies. The actual truth of it is, is they come round, knock on your door. These people get commission, obviously. The more they sell, the more money they make for themselves. Um, and then once they get into your home, and they and they pressurise you into signing on a dotted line, um, regardless of whether the details on the paperwork are correct or not, you know, it might as well have been signed Mickey Mouse. I'd still be having them come round, break into the property, fit a prepaid meter on the electric and on the gas. And to me, that's not right. Because 
you know, I, I saw on the internet that someone obviously around here knows me or they live on my road or something, and they've said, uh, 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 you not pay for, for, for bread and newspapers and milk from Ilias around the corner, um, you know, pay your bill, you know, like, it's easy to point the finger at someone like that, but look, check this out. Let's suppose for a minute that I did owe the sweet shop around the corner, Ilias, I did owe him 10, 15 pound for, for, for more than likely milk and fags, yeah? Probably bread, milk and fags if there was going to be any truth to that matter. Newspapers, I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, would the man from the sweet shop around the corner come to my house because he says I owed him money with the police and with a locksmith? And that wouldn't happen, would it? It wouldn't happen. But it happens with the sale of gas and electricity. Now, I want to know what the connection is here between the courts, the police and the utility companies. Because if you're asking my opinion, I think they're all in bed together. And if that's not the case, it appears that way. Okay? Um, I'd like to state on the tape as well, the police that turned up today, they acted very responsibly, they was neutral, they were standing there today as common law peace officers and they did their job. They did their job, they did what they were supposed to do. Whereas on the first video, um, you'll notice the man from Southern Electric saying, no, they're here to enforce a court warrant. That would be enforcing um, the payment of a bill, really. That's what it comes down to. They're here to make sure I'll pay Southern Electric or you're coming in my house and you'll take things from me. The country runs like that. It's all, it's all done on... You know, if you own your own house, God forbid, and you don't pay a certain bill, um, they can take things away from you. You can have your car taken in the middle of the night. Um, it's all... It's all based on... On things. You know, we're going to take things away from you if you don't do as we say. That is the bottom line here. So, um... These people, Southern Electric, have come to my house, fitted a prepaid meter against my will twice now. Now, I've got two contracts from British Gas. Let me start at the beginning. This is, this is the beginning. Um, August, um, August the 8th, 2009, uh, they come to my house, uh, gets me to fill out this so-called contract. Okay? Now, Here's where all the problems start. The contract, it's not a contract, it's a piece of paper. He's left here, right, I told the guy, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be signing, I'm not really sure, he's giving me all the jargon about, you're paying 7%, you could be paying 4%. I didn't ask him 4% of what, I didn't think to at the time. Because my mental state just hasn't been good. So, you know, I'm under pressure, band have left me, I've got no money. Now I realise I've got to pay gas and electric and rent and I, I, I didn't know what I was going to do. So obviously I was thinking, you know, should I change, shouldn't I change? But these people know how to put pressure on you, especially when you're vulnerable. I needed to hear that life was going to be cheap at that time. I really did. I really did. Um, so anyway, this guy's kind of rushed through it. He's filled out the thing. He's got me to sign this bit on the back and, uh, and left. Anyway, a little while later... Um, some bills started coming through the door. Now I have like stuff come through the door all the time and if it hasn't got the correct name on it they go in a certain pile over there and after the time they don't get looked at or even binned because unless, unless it's like me I don't really open things. Things come here all the time from all over the country and Europe and you know it, it's hard to believe but yeah it, you know it still happens. There's still some interest somewhere. Um, so you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say for a minute that I didn't recognise that that said Southern Electric on the back. I knew it said Southern Electric on the back. Of course I did. But when I turned it round, it wasn't my name. It wasn't my name. Now, if you ring the utility company, they're going to ask you, um, is your name Mr Harvey? Or, or they can't talk to you unless I ring up and say, yeah, I'm, I, you know, in the first instance it would have been, hello, yes, my name's Mr Brian. Because the first bill came through to Mr. H. Bryan, 
Obviously, a contract's a contract. If the details aren't right, that contract should be null and void. And that's his mistake, that's his company's mess up. If they've sent an incompetent guy around here that can't fill the form out properly, I mean, otherwise, what's the point in having a contract? Otherwise, anyone can just walk up to anyone on the street and say, you owe me money. Well, if you don't pay it, I'm going to break in your house. And steal from you. Ilya's round the corner ain't threatening to come round my house with the police and, and locksmiths and fit a metre over my mouth until I, I, you know, I agree to pay him for his cigarettes and milk. This whole thing's a joke. This whole thing is a joke. And uh, let me just make something clear. This isn't someone trying to get out of paying the bill. The bottom line is, is that there was a transfer done from British Gas, who are supposed to be my supplier, who are contracted to be my supplier on both gas and electricity, right? They've transferred over the details to Southern Electric because obviously I've been put under pressure, right? Now, when they've transferred that over, they've transferred it with the wrong name. That is something which is called an erroneous transfer. An erroneous transfer is illegal. If the details aren't right, the contract goes back to the original supplier and, uh, and you stay with them. And that's how it goes. But not in this instance, it didn't go like that. These people have got the wrong name on the contract. What they really should have done was knocked on the door and said, oh, excuse me, sir, look, sorry, there's been a mess up. This has been filled out wrong. Would you like to fill it out again? I wasn't given that option on a day when I might have been a little bit more clear-headed. Yeah, it was my birthday. If I can't have a drink on my birthday, do you, do you know what I mean? Anyone else, surely you'd feel the same. Um, so, so anyway, the, the guy's gone away, like I said, I've got the bill in the name of H. Brian. Now, my name's not H. Brian, so legally, uh, you know, that's not down to me. It's not down to, it's not down to me to tell them they've messed up either, because now I'm starting to see it as like, these people just put you under duress. And I, I told him, I said, I wasn't sure whether I want to do this, but they're very convincing and they talk you into it. They talk you into it. So I got talked into it. And uh, once I got talked into it, all they wanted was you contracted to them. Once they've got you there, they'll let you run up any bill that you like. And then they want to break in and make you pay for it. Now the thing that done me was, I didn't have any money, I didn't have anything. And they're saying that they want to come in, fit a metre, and I've got to give them £20 a week before I turn on the light switch. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not someone who's trying to get out of gas and electricity because if I was, why would I ask them to switch, send it back to the original supplier, which is well documented and I will produce the paperwork at some point, I promise. But right now, I just needed to get this video out because um, they've done it on the electric and they've done it on the gas. The fact is, is that there is a special relationship between the police, the courts and, and the utility companies and there shouldn't be, right? I haven't got a contract with these people, okay? They've changed the name three times. They've never had any consent to do that. It was an erroneous transfer from the start, so anything else should be irrelevant, really. Um, and But they've just gone ahead and done it anyway, so it, it shows me what we're living in. It really does, and I, I'm frustrated, and uh, I'm gonna take it further. I'm not letting this go. Uh, they've nearly, nearly done me. I nearly was, I'm just, you know, on the floor and just thinking, just do what you want. I can't fight back anymore, you know? But um, I'm hoping that their persistence in pressuring me and extorting me, hopefully this time, is going to blow up in their face. Because um, I'm getting a little bit more advice now from people. And then, listen, they're not going to get away with this. I'm not having it. If it's the last thing I ever do, I'm not having it. And this isn't a, a bit of bloke, I just want to be left alone to get on with my life and find out what it is I'm supposed to do, whatever work I'm supposed to do once I'm, I'm better in my mind. You know what I mean? I'm not Superman and uh, I'm having a, a very hard time with all this and I wanted to let the public know about it because you know what's happening to me right now is going to be guaranteed happening to thousands of other people out there. And uh, something needs to be done about this. 
you know, look at the look at the simple option that I'll give you. There's a guy around the sweet shop, if you owe him money for fags, come round with a locksmith and break into your house. It's another example of you paying for something or you owing someone money. Is it right that they come round with the intimidation of the police? Fair play to the police, because they were them police out there were wicked, they'd done their job. I take my I took my hat to the police. That is what they're supposed to be like. But we may have seen a difference had I have refused to let Southern Electric do what they needed to do because the last time I was told I'd be arrested if I don't move out of the way of them and let them do their job. So basically a short summary of it is these companies come round, harass you, get you contracted, once they've got you contracted that's it, they don't care about you. They don't care about you. They've been sent a doctor's letter yesterday. I went to the doctors on the 2nd of July sat there and showed the doctor all the paperwork, all the notes I'm writing out myself to go to court and represent myself. I can't afford a lawyer. You know what I mean? I can't afford a lawyer. I, I've got friends that know what they're doing of and I talk to them. But I'm having to battle through this on my own. And when people put clever little comments on YouTube, obviously, mate, they go over my head. Do you know what I'm saying? But it just shows the ignorance and narrow-mindedness from people that really, I'm, I'm trying to help. Obviously, I'm trying to help myself. I'm trying to defend myself, and you know, I don't want people. I've had everything taken away from me. You know, now they've took my gas. You know, what does a bloke do? So, you know, hopefully this video helps some people. Obviously, you're going to get some mouthy idiots out there that think they know better, or you've just taken a dislike into me. You know what? Grow up. Grow up. There's bigger things at hand there. There really is. There really, really is. And uh, if you want to put up with that, that's fine, that's up to you. But me, I don't want it. I don't want it. I'm not well. Do you understand? I'm not well. And if you was me and you was not well, what would you do? Would you try and defend yourself to the end? Would you, you know? So I'm getting walked over here, completely walked over. And uh, I'm going to have my say, regardless of what anyone's got to say about it. I kept myself peaceful outside both times. What else do you do? There's only there's only there's only so much you can take and there's only so many times you can go, alright mate, yeah no, I understand, you're just doing your job. And then people were just doing their job. They got families to feed at home, you know, they got kids, they got mortgages to pay. I understand it. Everyone's under it. But you know what, there's gotta come a point where the people of this country start pulling together and realising what's going on you know we're slaves and we will do as we're told and when we don't do as we're told they're going to take things away from us and I've had enough I really have had enough of it I don't think I'm above myself I don't think I'm someone special you know I'm not trying to make a name for myself in the alternative media I'm trying to survive is what I'm trying to do and it's been made hard for me. So I hope my two videos help. If there's anyone else out there in the same scenario, or the same situation, I hope the videos help. Um, these people have never had a contract with me from day one, um, but still they've come in my ass twice now. And that can't be right. You know what I mean? It, it can't be right. But it's happening. And... Uh, I feel a little bit like I don't know where I can go with this because I've been to judicial review twice and they turned me down and all that done in my head was back up the fact that I think the courts and the police and the utility companies are all together on this. Um, it's a big statement I know but it appears that way. So uh, anyway, I'm going to let you watch the video now. Um, police State Walthamstow Part 2. Um, I will do another update soon. It's just at the minute I'm a bit spun trying to get my head around this whole thing. So um, thanks for watching and um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm gonna let we go up a bit closer and have it in the background because we want to come on, we want to do this properly. Got the Job. That's it. That's it.
decent camera that is. Isn't it? Make a movie that's review. a decent. Actually, he's gonna make a movie. Son, you guys, yes, that's a decent. <laughs> Who's directing this? No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, just, just do you know what? He's hard amongst all this, man. Just trying to like. Um, you know what I mean? Remember, certain people are trying to do a job, man. Yeah. I just got to not get angry. You know what I mean? There's a, this is a way, is a way of doing, doing this. Job, right? yeah, 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 yeah. But let's ask a question on logic sense. Okay. If a meter's put in 2000 and you've got a contract in 2009, you'd assume that the meter was there before, yeah? Southern's not is a new body in this area before the, 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 the parliament broke up, who's got whatever. So, how's it possible for you to own a meter? That is not yours, and then the, the, all the gas comes through a main central region, yeah. and it comes into one meter. You Understand. charge for the meter that you own. How can you charge for a meter that's not yours? I'll tell you what. That's going to come up with a court appeal because you know I can what? Understand but that. it's the same time. I don't mind a man doing what they're doing, though, because yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, it will come down to that the evidence. Because you're taking something that's not yours on the force but then that's yeah. theft and that's fraud and, and and all criminal damage and entering into a man's property without authority. It's the whole list. Yeah, you're acting for the company, but in the interest of the, the justice, you can't be telling someone like the court that that's contempt of court. Because yeah. first of all, you must make sure that what you're saying is accurate. Because if it's not accurate. You know, thing, the, thing that I'm more, the thing that I'm more and, and it's not the first in, one, the, the second meter is the same thing. What the special relationship But you look on the meter and you see the date it was installed, it's on it. And the numbers, and I've taken all the numbers. I'm thinking, so I'm thinking about doing a documentary on it. And, um, yeah, of course they are. I mean, they're it just get fascinates job, me because the, the police are only here to keep to keep, keep the pace. pace. Yeah, 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 I know I mean, they are, but I mean, of, it's best to do that way because at the end, his, his protest is re recognised. Uh, I mean, it's I not, it's not, it's not, I can understand what you're saying. Uh, it's, not, it's not helping, we, it's we not understand. helping me. It's Our company, me. we take over loads of, lots of thousands, millions of metres a year. We, we buy them off other companies like British Gas. We, we take ownership of their meat. Well, unless the party agrees to that and it's not in name, so it's erroneous. So we tell him that if it's erroneous, we will transfer it. Yeah, yeah, he said, we'll, we'll transfer it's it back to the original dark. suppliers if it didn't happen. Um, Within that year, he didn't British get his continues and let it fly past the year. So it's just say, his shit. Oh, it's, you know what else you know, we're about? It's the email. Yeah. 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 I did then, that. Then that's our meter. And I said, well, the thing is, is when I was pestered by the bloke knocking on the door in the first place five times, right? Who are we talking about? British gas? We're, we're, no, we're talking about when Southern Electric yeah. come around and, yeah. and assumed that, that they had some sort of authority. Yeah. Um, this guy has wrote the name of the meter down, the number on it. When everyone's come back in that man with the old bill and all that, if that's the number on your meter, I said, mate, that geezer's had a look at the meter and wrote a number down. I said, it's not your meter, it's British Gas's meter. So why are you taking it? Well, it's our meter. So how can it be your meter? I've never had nothing to do with you. How can it be your meter? You know, um, I just want to know what the special relationship is between the police, the courts, and the utility companies because I ain't the first, and this ain't I ain't going to be the last of people hearing that they've had their ass broken into and had a prepaid meter in. When that happens, people feel raped, you know what I mean? It's like it's their home, and it's like if the guy from around the corner shop can't come in your house over, over a civil matter, which is about money. Civil court for that reason. Civil court. How these things end up in the magistrates' court with orders that are signed off before before the hearings even actually take place. It's all a bit suspect. Mm -hmm. I mean, Southern Electric they blatantly gone into court and lied and said um, we believe he's nicking electricity, which weren't the case. And and they and they know that that is the only way they can get through the door from turning a civil case into something that is possibly criminal. Which, which By that what, time, what, was it for the gas or was it for the electricity? These people broke into electric. my house because of the electric. But they both were on the same contract. And I didn't have a contract no, no. with my state at the beginning of it all. I don't no, consent no, no, no. to any of this. You know, like we're protected right. under the common law of this land. But when I asked the police, the police constable, are you here on your oath? He just ignored me. Anyone claiming judicial authority has to swear an oath to the Queen or at a station to uphold the common law of the land. The common law of the land, it ain't being upheld at the minute, especially when utility companies are breaking in your ass on a on a on a shaky contract that ain't legitimate. I mean, I can pull that thing out now. It's all signed wrong. Do you know what I mean? It was done under duress. The guy kept knocking and knocking and knocking. Do you know what I mean? I've let the geezer in, and it was my birthday. I was he drunk, was mate. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, of all the days. To let the geezer in, he's coming on my birthday. He's he's coming. Sat down. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. This is that. This is that. This is going to be cheaper. That's going to be cheaper. It's just all lies and that. And mate, I've been through enough. I've had car accidents. I've been run over. I've been sacked public. I can't take much more. Do you know what I mean? So, just so you know where I'm coming from. 
find someone invincible personally. It literally is sending me over the edge. I've had suicide attempts before in the past, so I shouldn't really have been saying me tell you this, but at the end of the day, what have I got left, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I'm getting so ready because I'm going to defend myself. And if it was you and there was people standing at your door saying, mate, we're coming in your house because you owe us money. I'm like, I don't owe you money. I don't owe you money. Just leave me alone because otherwise I'm just going to end up back in hospital or something. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't want that. And I've, I've gone to the doctors, I've sent letters and said, look, mate, you're having an effect on me. Don't turn me into a fucking wild man. I don't need it, man. I don't need it. I just want to get on with my life. You know what I'm saying? I said, and the thing is, this whole thing, from the beginning, erroneous transfer. Erroneous transfer. That's illegal. It should go back to the original supplier. You know what I'm saying? No one was disputing that anyone should have to pay for gas. But I was with British Gas. Do you know what I mean? I was with British Gas. And I've been, I've been walked down the road here now, and it's like, right, right, we've got all the up, now we're going to, uh, now we're going to rinse up. When and they cut, and do you know what I mean? When someone around. comes in your house and says, You ain't going to switch a light on until you give us £20 a week, that's extortion. Sorry, sorry mate. Right. I'm sorry. British Gas came to read that meter last week. British Gas came to read the meter last Your week, and six months before that, I opened the door they and went, that meter. What's going on here? You're having a laugh, they and you? They bought that meter, trust me. It was LED before saying, and they so bought it. So the 2000 argument is going to open a nasty can of worms. I took a judicial worms. review. I knew what was going to happen in that judicial review. That's what you were doing the company, do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. See, I've got no problem Definitely. with that, but you've got to do your job. I'm not, I'm oh, yeah, not, yeah, not yeah, yeah. disputing yeah, anything. I've said what I'm about to say, and you're, you're, you're uh, if, 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 fully you aware of everything. Yeah. So if he keeps sending you out, I'm not going to play with you guys. I normally take our chief execs in all the time. I take, I think I've got primuses right to me. I've got mm. a lot of things. I'm not worried about the little guys, and I beat the big heads, you know, and there's no fault, guy. If I tell you something, you don't do it, then I come for you. Simple. What company do you practice? Well, I do all kind of. I'm in the international criminal court as well, so it shows you the level of power. He's a sick man. So, I'm trying to so decide. He's a sick man. Should, should what, what one is ruining people? Is he? Am, yeah, man. I am yeah. myself. Who? Oh, you're your own. You're private, right. yeah. That's right. Freelance. Yeah, so, so I do what I do. But this is my friend from. Well, I can't tell you how many years now. It must have well past twenty years. It's been a long yeah. time, and your your timing's unbelievable. Oh, well, right? I know. Every time, <laughs> mate. Your timing's unbelievable, man. Yeah. Oh well. No, I, I, I'm just pissed off as well. When that geezer come over, you look a bit silly though. It's like, hang on, is this it's got to be sad. I was glad I was recording that day. I didn't put the whole thing on there because the whole thing started off and it's going on with Mr. HRV. And it's like, mate, the bills came through to that property, Mr. H. Brian. H. Brian. And then that name's Harvey been changed Brian. twice since then with no consent. Harry and Brian. The, Harry, Harry yeah. Brian. H. Brian, and then, oh god, we've amended it now, fit the, fit the, but what are you Mr. doing? Harvey. You've got to rip that old then thing Brian up that, that, that's got wrong <laughs> details on it and start a new contract if that was the case. <laughs> Faces are, you know. I've got to come in and get my videos made now, Trudy. Um, well, we Hello? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Yeah. Well done. Can can we see, can we see you can say proof so. of that oath, please, sir? Right. Excuse yeah. me. Let's get it. Can we see? Uh, All anyone, I'm here any, for. Any, anyone claiming you, you're here to keep the peace. I know that, sir. Um, anyone claiming judicial authority has to swear an oath to the Queen to uphold the common law of the land. Are you refusing to offer your oath, sir? 
Sorry, I took the oath for cunts when I put this uniform on when I joined. Yeah, and, 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 I'll and you have to offer your oath when requested on demand. No. Yeah. Yes, you do, sir. No, I yes, you do, sir. No. Oh, he's answered his question, okay. so right. just, just do that. Mr. Harvey, we're going to go and pick your meter now. I'm not Mr. Harvey. Not the Mr. Harvey you're referring to. That's the engineer. Nothing right. personal, mate. That's all. Nothing personal. It's not a problem. Nothing personal. I'm not trying to be clever. I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to exercise my rights. That's all. All I'm here for is just to prevent a breach of the peace. Yeah, no breach um, of the peace here, sir. I've got no responsibility here whatsoever. I'm going to put this on YouTube now. I might. Yeah. I might. I might. I need to do another video actually explaining the bit before that and then we get to it because it sort of starts to make charge. You know what I mean? That, that was the that was the the, the, the second amendment that they'd made, innit? it? When they get, when they when they done the HR, I was in that phase of it then. But um, the original thing just come through Mr. H. Bryan. It was an erroneous transfer. It should have been transferred back to the original supplier. Which was, which was British gas. Yeah, you mention it, freedom of information, as it was. Like I said, man, you know what I mean? I said, I said, no, I said, I said how the last one went, and, right. and everyone is just good jobs, aren't they? You know what I mean? And it's just the conflicts of interest at the minute on everyone's part, because we're just... <coughs> I'm not the person people think I am. You know what I mean? I just, well, I just want you to know that. I feel frustrated at the minute, man. I feel like I, I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. I feel like I'm in the twilight zone. That's what it feels like. One minute everything's great, next minute and now everyone's on me. Right, next and minute they, it'll be gone again. Yeah. What's next? What else we got I can get broke in for? Water next to get water? Oh, yeah. We'll have that next. No, they don't. They don't. They won't. We'll have, for, next we'll have your water, then we'll have your pants. <laughs> And then that bit, I'll be walking up and down here, man, with nothing on like a nut case. Well, I'll take long to go down the road. Worried about the Olympics. Mm. Yeah, this stuff worried about you. I'll be it's worried, mate. Really it's gonna be. It's it? gonna be awful. All them things set up on top of the buildings and all that. That ain't like. So at the end of it, they go. No, oh, nothing happened. Let's pack up and go home. You just, just know there's an inside job coming, doesn't it? A billion people gonna be watching them Olympics. You've got every nation from every part of the world gonna be there. Therefore, if an event happens there, a terrorist, mm. a made-up terrorist event happens there, it involves the whole world, doesn't it? It actually involves players from all over the world. So that's how they're going to bring that new world order in. And all of these, all of these sort of actions that are happening now, these are all build up up to it. This is the, this is the loss of your your civil rights and your freedoms happening right now. This, this is actually it. This is this is how we how we move from common law. And transition into it being a police state. It's pretty sweet. It sounds like that. Look at them guys just have the camera up there. I mean, look at the cameras. It's like some guys are oblivious to the facts. Well, be like China soon, isn't it? Like, you know, they, there was a, when was it China or China? China. When you got that, a bird had twins, and she got pregnant again, she was a girl, seven months pregnant, and the police come round like this, some type of scenario, you're not having that baby. Mate, it's not good, is it? That's what's coming. The same That's thing. <laughs> so no, 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 no. This is the getting you used to it. You're no one, you're a slave. You do as you're told or we will take things from you. That's what's happening right now. It's not nice having it happen to you, but I understand it and I get what's going on. What can you do then? You've got what the YouTube guy, but it's double money. Wasting time. What's the difference in the way? I don't know. I don't know. Chicken. They took a couple of forces to us. Water off. 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 Water off.
Been installed now. Ten pound credits on there. Brilliant. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I don't consent. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you. Good night, sir. Take care, mate. Take care. Nice. Charlie, mate. Whoever you are. Thank you. Take it. Saving grace. Take care. See you later, mate. Right. Whenever. Um. Well, there it is. Prepaid meter fitted as promised by Southern Electric, regardless of what you do or say. If you're in the right, if you're in the wrong, doesn't seem to matter. We're coming in with the intimidation of the police behind us. You're a fucking slave and you will do as you're told or we'll take things from you. It's all a bit strange, you know what I mean? Because it's all done in a roundabout nice way and everyone laughing and joking. But the sick thing about it is, is I've been extorted. You know, there's been no contract, and this is what happens. This is what happens. So what we're doing now, OJ? Where are we taking this? What are we doing now? So, a pill court. Yeah, it's the same contract. We just overdo um, the, the judicial review decision. Mental incapacity. Yeah. Can't have a decision against a man who's got a capacity, and the court was aware of it. However, they didn't want to hear someone else speak on your behalf, so it's allowed the judgment to be irregular on the fact that. You were in a competent mind to deal with it, and there's no contract which suggests your name. And the meters don't belong to the other party, so how can they charge for debt that's not theirs? Erroneous. They said that they would transfer the property to transfer it back. If it was erroneous, done with a year, you done. You wrote to them to transfer it back because it was erroneous. They make the year pass, and they've come and done this. Same thing. On the plus side, though. I have had my plastering done. Hello. <laughs> you right? So I'm getting yeah, yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's, ain't look it's not looking too bad now. It? It's coming on. Right. I don't know if you can oh, see that, you two viewers. It's all drama, eh? All right. Right. Maybe I should have explained myself mm. before. Yes, I'm on benefits. Yeah. I haven't got any money and I was doing my ass up. And uh, plastering's okay. been done now. <laughs> Looks nice. All right, then. Nice and flat. Yeah, yeah. Compliments right, of drama. Bye. Drama did that. Big up drama. Big up drama. Done a nice job, although they can't really see it on here. They're nice and flat, like glass. All good in the hood. All good in the hood. 